of course, marks the five-year anniversary of Superstorm Sandy, and the memories of that devastating day are still so fresh for a lot of folks. And it took years for Connecticut families to rebuild their homes. Sunday's storm won't be nearly as bad, but it is raising some concern tonight. News 8's Bob Wilson revisited some of those hardest-hit areas. He joins us live tonight from East Haven. Bob. Yeah, cozy beach. And when you hear Joe say big swells, immediately people start thinking here, oh my gosh, Superstorm Sandy. This house right here has not been rebuilt yet. As a matter of fact, five years uh, coming up on the anniversary. And uh, you can see still boarded up. This is right on the ocean right here. The fence still blown out. A lot of people say, you know what, this is not the only house around here. And they think with another storm coming, they're keeping their fingers crossed. It was five years ago that Superstorm Sandy battered the shoreline for more than 24 hours. Parts of the houses now are starting to fly off, and it is really, really starting to uh, kind of blow sideways here. When the rain stopped and the winds died and the sun came out, homes were gone, washed away out to sea. I'm like standing in the door, and I'm watching the waves hit the house. Jim Sisson in East Haven now has a waterfront home. The house in front of him, taken by Sandy. The waves that were crashing here were crashing up on in his house. Like, you, you know what I mean? It just tore his house right, right down. Wow. And then over here, you're right here. So what, yeah. what happened to your house over here? Well, I, I, like I said, I had to get out of here before it got too, too bad. So while the memories are still strong, so is the debris left behind. This is a kitchen tile out of the house that used to be right here. It was found on the beach. And you can see all of the debris. This right here is the high tide mark from just two days ago, that storm we had go through. And he says, when he looks out of his house, and he starts to see those big breakers coming in four, five, six feet high. It triggers the memories all over again. Make you a little nervous with the storm coming on yeah, Sunday night? You know, we, yeah, we, you know, that's what it is when it starts getting this close. You, you, you know, another, you know, five, six feet, it's in your house. Five years later, any lessons learned from Sandy? Yeah, leave earlier. <laughs> Hey, you know, he kind of said that laughing, but he absolutely meant it. He says, you know, it came up around his ankles, around his knees, just to grab some stuff out of the house. The water came up so fast. By the time it was at his hips, he got out just in time. This is the house that needs to be fixed. This is Jim's house over here. And they say, you know, it's right on the doorstep of the beach. It's a pleasure to live here. They have a lot of fun, but they do know the power of Mother Nature. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in East Haven, News 8.